Hi everyone, good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. Um, my regular disclaimer that this is an adult only colouring channel and my videos are in no way intended for or aimed at children. Okay my lovelies, so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a flip through of this beautiful book, the Modern Fae fantasy themed colouring book. This has been illustrated by Melissa Labra um, and it is via the Colouring Hive um, and this has been published by Dalt Book Publishing. So I have been sent this book for review so I just want to say a great big thank you to Gillian for sending me these beautiful beautiful books to share on my channel. I really really appreciate it and um, yeah I'm excited to share these books with everyone so thank you again so much Gillian for reaching out to me and giving me the opportunity to share these here on Kate's Colouring Haven. Okay so in this book we have beautiful soft matte cover like we have with the other ones that I have reviewed so I really love the feel of the you know the soft matte covers I just think they feel so nice in the hands so we've got this beautiful image here on the front and then on the back we have our six thumbnails and then it lets us know that we have 25 fey ladies living their best lives. So 25 pages to colour, which is fantastic. And then we have copyright information down here. And then um, the colouring hive and then adult book publishing. So let's open up the book and see what we have inside. Okay, so the first page we come to is our nameplate page. So this book belongs to, and then we have this lovely pattern around the edge, which is very, very pretty. Okay, and then as you may be familiar now with these books, <clears throat> we have the copyright information here along with the details for adult book publishing which i will put in the description we have the isbn number and then here we have some information about the artist and a little thank you note there and then some information there on social media for the coloring hive so again i will include all of that good stuff down in the video description So we have colouring tips, palettes and colour theory, build a palette. So you have your template here for your colour wheel, so you've got all that good stuff there. And a page for your colour swatches which has space underneath the squares to put the names, you know, the supplies you're using and whatnot. Um, I love this, I absolutely love it and I really like how much space we have between them. My only thing would be that it would be nice if the, the, the boxes were a little bit bigger. But that's, you know, that's my only, that's my only thing. But I do love the fact that we have a colour swatch page and I love the, um, you know, the size of the spacing. So we can write, you know, what colours, you know, whether it's a, a marker and what the colour name and colour number is, you know, all that good stuff. So that we can use this in reference back to it later if we want to. Okay. And then we have our pages that are printed on a black background. And it's basically just numbering the page that follows. So whilst I'm flipping through, what I will do is hold the number page and, sh you know, show you the image and then sort of, you know, flip the, the colouring page and the number. So two pages like this and just sort of go straight to the next image because then we'll get through the book a little bit quicker because, I mean, you, you guys know that this is going to be between every page and sort of numbered as we go. 
But the lovely thing to note about those is that on the reverse, as I've mentioned in my other um, reviews, we have a little um, segment here for colouring notes. Um, and it just sort of um, encourages you and it says this page was completed with and then you can list your colours, mediums and any other thoughts. So you could write, you know, when you started and finished the page, um, maybe colour combinations that you've used, you know, like they've mentioned, you could use, you know, the list of what you've used on the page. So we've got all that good stuff there. And then we move into our images. So we've got our beautiful image here from the front cover, which I love. I absolutely love. And then obviously you've got number two. So I'm just going to do that and get to the next image. So you will notice that these are printed single sided. So you can throw whatever mediums you like at it of course within reason um, but if you are going to use your alcohol markers or anything with the potential at all to bleed through then just be mindful you know put your blotter page between and it just protects from any potential bleed through but these pages are gorgeous i think if you have a visual impairment there are some details on these pages that you may struggle with Overall, I think they're pretty good. But just to be mindful that there is some detail on these pages that may be a little bit tricky. I love her dress. Look at her tights. How cool are they? I need these tights. <laughs> Mind you, you know, I'll be 40 next year, so I've got no chance of pulling that off. But I think they look great. They look awesome on her. They, they suit her beautifully. So I really, really like the style of artwork by Melissa in this book. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And, you know, these pages are just fun. They really just make me smile. And I think that's really lovely when you get that, you know, from a, from a colouring book. <laughs> Looks like she's posing having a picture taken, doesn't it? <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful there. A flower shop. Look at her with the sunflowers. Oh, if that isn't just, you know, like joy and happiness on a page i don't know what is i just think this is so beautiful i i adore that page i really do this one is fab <laughs> so cool Oh, look at this. She's hugging the big teddy there. She's got her little sort of rabbit socks on as well. That is really cute. I love that. So we have our librarian fairy elf lady. Putting books away. Love this. I absolutely love this page. It is beautiful. And then we've got this gorgeous image of this girl getting just lost in her music. She's got her headphones on there. I love it. I just think that is so lovely. Hmm. <laughs> 
she's definitely enjoying her burger, isn't she? <laughs> She's just chilling out there on a little inflatable in the pool. Oh, such a hard life. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. This is another page that I really like. <laughs> this is fun. She's trying to cram all this stuff into her suitcase. Question is, do you think it gets closed? I'm not convinced. <laughs> Beautiful, absolutely lovely. Look at this, oh my gosh. If I was younger and slimmer, this would be me. <laughs> oh, loving on the kitty cat, so cute. Really, really adorable. Looks like this young lady is trying to take a selfie. Or she maybe she's FaceTiming a friend. <laughs> Who knows? Gorgeous. Love this one. I absolutely love this page. I think this is definitely one of my favourites. I've got a couple of favourites in here. They're just they're so lovely. Really, really lovely. Looks like she's out there. Uh, what do they call that? Is that like paddle boarding or something? Is that the right, right terminology for that? Gorgeous. Really lovely. Okay, and then here on the back, we have our final page. Um, you can write here the date that you completed the book, if you so wish. And then it says here, feel free to post your finished work and tag us at The Colouring Hive. And that is on Instagram or Facebook. And then we have a blank page here in the back to use you know, to swatch your mediums and just see how different things behave and react on the paper if you so wish. There's just that option there for you. So there you go, my lovelies. That was a flip through of Modern Fay, a fantasy themed colouring book illustrated by Melissa Labra via The Colouring Hive. So thank you so much everyone for joining. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please take care and stay safe. Remember I will speak to you in the next video. Lots of love. Bye.